We went to visit Joe Evans of the new Bristol Steiner Free School to ask him what he had to say about the controversial issues of pseudoscience, vaccination and unchecked bullying. As far as the academies go, I mean, all I can say is that we're absolutely clear that our curriculum is about mainstream science. You know, we're, we're not... So you don't teach, the heart isn't a part no, of it. you don't teach. Well, I can understand concern, because the truth is that Steiner education is coming out of this history of a kind of spiritual philosophy, you know, and there is stuff in there which is mystical and spiritual and quasi-religious and so on, you know, and that, that's there, you know, and, and we're, as I say, as far as we're concerned, we're not, you know, we're not sort of embarrassed of that, but what we're saying is that we're, we're, we're several steps down the line from that. So will you know. be having that philosophical doctor? No. No. So can you imagine in your Steiner school getting Simon Singh in to talk about Simpsons and the maths? Because yeah, we'd be up for all sorts really. I'd be quite happy to set up a debate about vaccination for parents to come and attend, you know, um, and get someone, get some epidemiologist from the NHS to come in and talk about it and, you know, and have that out in the open. Mm. Can we come and film this, that when you do if, that? If it happens, yeah. But, you know, rather than have all this stuff kind of... Uh, as it's been at the minute when it comes out it's just in everyone's in the comments section of each other's blogs and things and I think well you know come and come and talk about it but we've said that if there's a a local program where vaccinations are being offered in schools we'd be part of that but the sense in which the zero tolerance approach is pretty widely accepted now fits in with the ethos of the school is again about having that sense of a culture which everyone feels part of and the action that the school takes around bullying is intended to draw the aggressor to draw the bullying back into that culture to bring them into an understanding of what it is that they've done and why it's unacceptable and that it, it can't and won't happen again. I then asked Joe for a comment about the specific subject of unchecked bullying which led us to achieve the first human rights settlement with the Steiner School. I wouldn't in any way consider myself as a representative of all of Steiner education so this is me speaking for our school um, but for us I think the kind of situation you've described sounds profoundly wrong in the way that a school should deal with bullying um, and it sounds as if um, either the, the right policy framework was never there or if it was there it was profoundly misinterpreted and, and we wouldn't be happy with anything remotely like that. I guess what we've got to do now, it, you know, we're talking the talk at the minute, we've got to walk the walk as well, we have to deliver on all of this.